That's right, folks. It is indeed August 19th, 2010. Let's go have some fun. Another day, another video. Well, this is just... Pfft, I do this in my sleep. So, how do you do, everybody? It's Luke's Leon here again for day 231. That's amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, if you're kind of wondering why I'm talking really fast right now, it's because I just drank an entire Red Bull, and uh, uh, Red Bull doesn't really affect me, but this is the first one I've had in a really long time, so it might be affecting me in a slightly different ways than it did when I was in school, and I needed Red Bull because I was doing my student thesis and trying to graduate, which I did. Go me. Pound them back. It's awesome. Man, I'm still talking really fast, and I hope that everybody can understand this. Every single word that is coming out of my mouth and being projected and thrown at the camera with great accuracy and great force, by the way. By the way, what was I going to say? Academy Art Venture. Yes, I said your name right that time. That contest that you did, it was a really good contest, really good idea. I can't wait for the one tomorrow. I am going to do something really, really good. I hope it's, I hope it's a video response because then I'm going to do something crazy and like smash, like I'll chew glass or something. No, I won't. Don't worry. Don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to say a few things. Actually, I said a great many things in the very short amount of time. So with that, uh, uh, I'm going to go try and recover from this, uh, this caffeine. Uh, thing because I'm not used to this much caffeine. Oh my god, Red Bull, what have you done to my heart? <laughs> I would like to welcome to you to the first of a series of tales, a series of tales told by me, Lucas Leon. What are these stories? You may be asking yourself whether well, they're of me and they're about me and my college experience. A few random things that pop into my head uh, at random, if you will, and I will let everybody know that these did indeed happen. It was a Friday in late August. School hadn't started yet, but it was the Friday before the Monday that classes started, and I was getting ready because my dad had just left, leaving me alone for the first time in the beginning of a four-year journey, which was my college experience. I went to my room, made some friends, and walked around, and got myself settled in, but not really. My computer wasn't working, and I hated that fact. Anyway, later that day, I know that we took the school bus and several others to Fred Meyer for this... Welcome to freshman year at sale at Fred Myers, and it was awesome because there was a lot of people that I was kind of getting to know, so I was just kind of sticking around a close posse, grabbing a few snacks, some amps, some snacks, some cream soda. I also bought myself a Venus flytrap, which ended up dying about a month later because I fed it. No bugs, and I also tried watering it, but uh, it turns out you can't water a plant that's laced with Mountain Dew. That'll kill it even faster, and that's exactly what happened. You've heard the truth coming from my mouth first. Anyway, back to Fred Meyer. There was a girl at Fred Meyer who thought that I was from Yugoslavia. What tipped her off to that was probably the fact that I told her, Oh, hello, my name is Lucas Leon. I'm from Yugoslavia. Yes, I've been in this country for a few months, but I'm trying to figure out how to talk here. She bought that, and she thought that I was from Yugoslavia for at least two months. The first two months of my freshman year, which was odd, because I'm pretty sure Yugoslavia itself is not a country anymore. Anyway, she didn't know that, but everyone else just played along because I figured that's what hilarious freshmen do when they're just starting off and they don't know strangers like that. So that was a very kind gesture by all those people. Also, at that Fred Meyer, I bought the first CD and probably the only CD I've bought in college, and that was Stadium Arcadium by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, who turned out to be one of my favorite bands of all time. Top three at least. It was an excellent album. I listened to it on a CD player. Also, probably the last year I ever listened to a CD on a CD player was 2006. By the way, that's the year that this started. I probably didn't mention it at the beginning. Now you know. Anyway, we came back, and I kind of settled in. I had some of my double-shot espressos and stayed up late, late into the night, early into the morning, 4 or 5 in the morning that, year, that weekend. And I remember I, little sleep was had. Little sleep should not have been had. Lots of sleep is not necessary when you're a freshman, even if you have class at 8 in the morning, which I didn't. I had class at 9.30 in the morning, and that was just fine with me. I'm going to end here, but there's going to be more college stories tomorrow, and then the day after that. I will see you on Friday. On a note that is completely unrelated to that story that I just told in a much deeper voice than what I'm talking right now, that Red Bull that I had is kind of wearing me out. I feel gross right now, and it's, yeah, I definitely feel the sugar crash right now. So that's not cool. I need some water and some other methods to not make me crash feeling right now because I don't want to go to bed at 9 in the evening and wake up at 5 in the morning or 6 in the morning. That's gross. It's a longer day, and I like, I like the late nights. Yeah, Red Bull. Probably not going to be drinking a lot of that lately. Later.